Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inexpensive jig. And what I mean by inexpensive is by not really having to pay for the lead that you're using to make the jig. So the jig, or what I'm going to be making the jig out of are some uh, lead weights from a cast net. And so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so this cast net right here, uh, me and my buddy, we were out and apparently the holes got ripped bigger because the other day we ripped it on a log trying to cast net some mullet. And if you watch my other, other video, <laughs> if you watch my other video, you can see how many mullet we cast netted. But I already started cutting some off, which was about right, right there. So um, what you gotta do is, see that right there? That's holding it on, so you just put your knife under that and cut it, and then you could slide your lead off. So, just keep on doing that until you have enough lead to satisfy you to make a swim bait jig kind or a diamond jig. Or you can just do this right here, and they'll just fall right off. So, uh, I'll get right back to you after I get enough lead to make a diamond jig. Okay, so what you guys want to do is you want to measure out how big your the ounce your swim jig is, like where the hooks go. So what I'm doing is I'm using 270 pound wire leader. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out how far I need the wire leader to stop and bend at. So I've already made one, but as you can see, I've made one already. So right there. So right there. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna get some nails and I'm going to put some nails into the wood. Just like that. There's one. And then I'm gonna get this other one and I'm gonna put it right there. Where the other end stops at. Okay, so now you have that right there. This is for a two ounce, but I'm making the three ounce right now. So whenever you do that, you are gonna get your wire and a needle nose and some needle nose pliers. So you're gonna put your wire around it like that and you're gonna bend it to where it's like something like that. Then you're gonna put it back on and do the left side and get it straight and then bend it. So then it looks something like that where both sides are bent. Then you just take your needle nose and clamp it onto the ends. Right there. On that side, like just like that. And then get the other one. You're gonna bend it. It's where you can get your needle nose and clamp it onto the end just like you did the right one. So then you get something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but something just to hold your split rings or something that you can tie your line to on your, on your swim jigs or your diamond jigs. So then you come over to your mold and you're gonna see if it fits, which it doesn't have to be perfect. But see that one, that one's, that one's pretty good goes right through the swim jig and then just like this one the one that was already made it does exactly the same so that's what it should look like and that's just a really cheap and inexpensive way to make them but this right here is a two ounce I already measured it out and so that just goes like that and then next I am going to show you how to pour them Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna get a pan, which I have right here. And then I started it with a lighter. So I'm gonna get those, those weights that I got from my cast net and I'm just gonna toss them in there while nothing is melted right now. And then I will get back to you whenever it starts melting. It's on. All right, I'm just gonna, I just got it rolling right now. Hey guys, just kidding. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do now 
is that we have all of our weights, our cast or our weights from our cast net. We're gonna grab this. We have just heated it up with the blowtorch. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our clip right here. And I'm gonna be making a two ounce jig mold or a jig. So what you do is you just put it in there like so, just like that. And you're gonna close it and then make everything, make sure everything's right. So as you can see, a little bit comes out right there, but that's fine. And you don't want to touch that because that's super hot. But then you are going to get on your oven mitt, wrong hand. You're going to get on your oven mitt and grab the cast, cast iron skillet and pour it inside this little hole right here. Not too fast, but you want it at least to where it fills up. So as you can see, it hardened real quick. So you don't want to grab these, but you're going to open it up and it'll be a full flutter jig mold or a flutter spin. So then you grab your oven mitt and you are going to take it out. And as you can see, you have a nice, nice little spin. So then you're going to come over here and just drop it in the water because it's super hot right now. And then after like five to 10 seconds, you can take it back out and it's already cooled. So right now I'm gonna cut off this access part. So it's not all bulging out. You just get some clippers and clip it off just like that. And then you clip off this up here to your liking and then boom now you have a four dollar jig fish spoon and it was basically free so there you go Okay, so guys, right here we have all of the jig, the flutter jig mold, or the flutter jigs done. Um, made 50 of them. They're pretty nice. These are all two ounces over here. These are all three ounces. You know, they're the best ones out there. You even got some right here with mouths on them, you know. But that is how you make them. So uh, if you ever want, if you want to learn more, just hit up, you know, the Catch'em Cody, the one and only. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.